How y'all feeling today? Lovely. Lovely. Hallelujah. It's a beautiful day, right? Outside. Yes, it is. Beautiful day outside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Israel. Wow. <laughs> it's been crazy out here, man. We, I know y'all all saw the video. This. Hope everybody is having a blessed day. Oh, man. It's crazy. You know, it's been uh, it's been something else this day. Um, it's, okay, here we go. We on? Yeah. Okay. Let's say shalom to the people on. Yeah. Shalom. shalom. Shalom, shalom. Oh, man. I know y'all all seen the video. Everybody in Israel seen the video. And what uh, what's really amazing is that after Malachi and Yaki were boasting about all of this stuff, oh, nobody wants to smoke. Nobody can come with what? Scholarship. Mm -hmm. Nobody can come with Hebrew. Mm -hmm. What else? Nobody can come with common sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody can come with science. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else was there? I think those are the... Did I say scriptures? Yeah. No, well, they, they said leave that, that out, though. Yeah, they, yeah, they said leave the scriptures out. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But we, we did scriptures. We did common sense. We did science. Mm -hmm. We did what else? Uh, we, we did statistics. Mm-hmm. And we did uh, just the nature of food itself and how y'all created it to be and how it's supposed to work with our bodies. Yes. And they, they boasted, man, over and over again, saying that nobody could deconstruct and no one could, you know, uh, uh, prove them wrong. Disprove mm -hmm. this, this vegetable doctrine thing. Didn't nobody want to smoke? Didn't nobody, nobody want, want to, to smoke. smoke. Right. So then we did the lesson on, on Shabbat. Of course, it, it, it went everywhere. And um, it, it totally destroyed their whole doctrine using the Melchizedek priesthood, which they claim to be, right? Mm -hmm. So we used, yes, we went do. in the scriptures and we showed the true nature of the Melchizedek priesthood. And then used that to show that they didn't understand the Melchizedek priesthood because the Melchizedek priesthood has to do with the high priest doing what? Tasting? Death. Tasting death. Mm -hmm. So the priest, the Melchizedek priesthood has to taste death to partake in the sufferings of Yehoshua HaMashiach. So to make a doctrine and say anything that has you eating, anything dead has nothing to do with Yah, mm. is de demonic. It's wrong. Mm -hmm. It denies the sacrifice of Yehoshua HaMashiach. And what it does, in essence, is it takes people, it, lead, it makes them lean on their own understanding. And this is what their so-called awakening and their so-called enlightenment through their buddhist and hindu meditation that they're doing and promoting as as something biblical um so what it does is it takes you away it steers you and turns you away from the blood of yahoshua it steers you away from the flesh of yahoshua steers you away from the sacrifice of yahoshua back into only herbs which then leads you from herbs and from vegetables to what Back to the Garden of Eden, yes. back, back to the to tree the of knowledge of, of good, good and evil. evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what it leads you to. That's what it leads you to. It leads you back to a time of, yeah, before the fall, but it's going to lead you to the tree that caused the fall, mm -hmm. which is so-called enlightenment and, oh, I, I know so much. So when you see um, this spirit, you see a lot of arrogance that come with it, mm -hmm. a lot of self-righteousness and putting doubt and question marks all over the scripture saying y'all couldn't have said that which we know that's how satan uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah that's how he, that's got, how he eve. got eve that's how we got eve <laughs> he starts saying oh the word doesn't really mean that he doesn't really mean uh what he says when he says you shall surely die if you eat eat, eat of it mm -hmm. so the moment adam and eve ate of the tree of knowledge of good and evil Yahweh told them in the commandment that the day you eat of it you, you shall, shall surely, surely die, die. Mm -hmm. and they ate of it which means they tasted death and Yehoshua HaMashiach coming behind that to bring salvation to our fallen state means that he had to taste death mm -hmm. so that by death he can defeat the one who had power over the over death who is the devil mm -hmm. we showed that that's the Melchizedek priesthood mentioned in the book of Hebrews so we did all of this and then, most importantly, whose words did we use? Their own Theirs. words. <laughs> Their own words. Their and they said, words. oh, man, they, 
they were so arrogant about it. But you see, they tapped out. They tapped out. Mm. They out of smoke. So um, we just want to give all praises to the Most High Yah. We just thank you, Father, and we glorify you in Yehoshua's name for your righteousness, for your word which abides forever. For your word is perfect. And not one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. We thank you for the sacrifice you made for our people, Yisrael, and for all those who believe in you. And it was through suffering and through you tasting death that we get to inherit eternal life. Through the tasting of death that you did for us, we get to actually taste of the tree of life, which is in your kingdom in the New Jerusalem. And all those who refuse to partake in the taste of your death shall not inherit the tree of life. And so we thank you for revealing these things unto us that we might share with the family and with the body. And we thank you most high for exposing uh, um, false prophecy in Israel. And we just pray most high for the spirit of understanding, for the spirit of wisdom and knowledge and, and divine counsel, most high to open our eyes to see and our ears to hear that we are not uh, deceived by seducing spirits mm. and doctrines of devils and yet still we pray for them most high that if it be by thy will whoever should repent will repent most high uh, from the leadership and the headship at this fallen congregation uh, to those who uh, are following and deceived by this fallen doctrine we pray as many as will repent will repent and we wish well to all of our people O most high yah um, we wish well for all of them, but we wish our people not to be deceived neither and not to be condemned by Satan's lies, Most High, and his blasphemies. So save us and, re and, and redeem us from uh, the hand of the adversary in Yehoshua's name. Yehoshua's Hallelujah, name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We got any, anybody on who uh, wanted to say anything? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, no. Okay, not yet. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. All right. Um. What we're going to do, um, and uh, let's let's just read a few scriptures again. I want to recover the importance of the Melchizedek priesthood, which they didn't understand about um, and which they ran from. And, and the thing is, uh, Malachi Maccabee did a whole video supposed to be explaining this position, and he totally ignored and acted like there was no video done about him that everybody's watching and everybody's talking about that totally exposed him. Everybody's seen it. So the more he uh, denies it or not uh, refuses to acknowledge it, the worse he looks, the worse and the weaker their position becomes. And the memes are going all over Facebook. People seeing that. Mm -hmm. um, and then Yaki sent the message to me on mm -hmm. Facebook and yes. then deleted it before I got a chance to even open it and see what it was he was sending. Mm -hmm. James 1 and 8, a double minded man unstable. is unstable in all of his ways. So when you see somebody saying nobody can answer these these questions and nobody can refute this doctrine and then you get your your doctrine refuted and totally deconstructed and then you act as though it's not existing That's again a double-minded man james 1 and 8 even even right now even right now heard him he, you know when he's live <laughs> oh man it's just it's mm -hmm. just crazy and still now now you're not entertaining yeah now they, they're not entertaining, entertaining insignificant, insignificant negroes. negroes uh when i've been born in the truth in the truth more than twice as long my i got children uh who've been in the truth longer than you malachi who are you to call anybody uh insinuate anyone's in, insignificant and you see that's the ad hominem attacks that you have to resort to because you can't refute the doctrine you can't refute the scripture you can't refute the science we brought out you can't refute the uh the uh the anything, statistics anything, anything. anything he can't refute the words of his own partner Right. Who says he's a master Reiki? He's a master healer. Reiki. Right. You can't refute that. Right. And said that nature makes no mistakes. Mm -hmm. Nature. Nature was nature. created by by the Most High Yahuwah. It was, it's not the Creator. Amen. You know? And in the video, they said whoever wanted it can get whoever it. Whoever wanted it. Mm -hmm. Right. And then when Dawu or someone else says something, they quick to jump. But uh, when we responded and um, and, and broke that broke down uh totally broke them down mm -hmm. deconstructed them now now you're insignificant now they don't want to respond and it's hilarious <laughs> um and again malachi despite everything you did the hebrew israelite scriptures is the number one selling scriptures in all israel mm -hmm. around the world 
Uh, Hallelujah. The chief of Ashanti in Ghana has a Hebrew Israelite scripture. Hallelujah. Did you know that, Malachi? Mm. Did you know that? Hallelujah. Maybe we'll show you some pictures, you know, or maybe not. I don't know. You know, we don't boast about what Yah has allowed us to do, but we boast in your whole Hallelujah. And he blessed us despite your best. I mean, that was like your, your I mean, you tried your best. You really did. I'll give that to you. you. You put everything into that to try to stop the word from going forth. And it fell. Uh, just like this doctor is going to fail. Mm. You know, just like your radio station fell. Mm -hmm. um, just like all of that. You know, so this doctrine is just a matter of time before it falls and, and collapses on his face. Got a few comments. Okay, go ahead. Yes, all right. He did say that. Sister Is says, Shalom, that, sis. says, yeah, one sister on Facebook has been posting that eating the meat is of Satan. Satan. Mm. Um, sister mm. Kiki, Shalom, Sister Kiki. Shalom. She shalom. says, I appreciate you. Thank you for having the courage to bring it out. Hallelujah. Thank you, y'all, in Yahushua's name. Um, sister Pamela, she says, Malachi also said that everything that's written in Torah is not for you. <laughs> and then she posted Psalms 119, 105 says, Thy word is a lamp unto my, my feet, feet and a light unto my path. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Brother Amit, he says, Yes, the Ashanti confirmed this evening they always use the pronunciation Yahoah. Hallelujah. 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 Shalom, Brother Amit. Yeah, bless you, brother. Love you, man. Mm -hmm. Um we have some and we're gonna we're gonna have some you know it's one thing to just debate doctrine back and forth but now we're in a situation where it's now exposed throughout israel that a hebrew herbalist has been doing um sacrifices to devils with the herbs and then selling it amongst israel so that's a great problem that's food sacrifice to idols so that which should be used to heal is actually still Corrupting and poisoning and making sick. So the, the sickness may just move from one area of the body to the soul. That's what happens. Or it may move from one area of the body to another or from one area of the body to the soul or to the spirit. And that's how it works when you have uh, herbs that are sacrificed to idols. Okay. It may uh, temporarily alleviate whatever you're taking it for, but then it moves to a different part of the body and manifests worse or it moves to the soul, which is even worse than that. And it creates sickness within the soul. So this is why you can't just get your herbs from people who promote uh, uh, demonism, um, um, Hinduism. So uh, Brother Amit was a former Hindu himself and knows all about that. And um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be presenting an alternative in Israel for people who need herbs. Hallelujah. From someone who knows Yehoshua HaMashiach, who does, who does nothing whatsoever uh, with uh, hin Hinduism, Reikiism, or anything. So, Yah willing, we're going to be um, revealing that and establishing that very shortly. Mm -hmm. And you will be able to get these herbs on the Hebrew Israelite Scriptures dot, uh, dot com website. We're going to provide this for Israel as a service since they have refused to acknowledge these things or turn or repent from these things. So, you know, we're going to have to do this and we're really happy to work with Brother Amit in this uh, endeavor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is going to establish healing in a true sense for our people. Yes. Hallelujah. We got a couple of more good comments. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, Ema Gwen. Shalom, Ema hey, Gwen. Hey, Ema Gwen. In California. Shalom. Says, um, hello, family. Judiah, you always hey. do an excellent study. I've learned so much Praise from you. I. I told I. And Israel's child said, when I looked at the video you re-uploaded, mm -hmm. it totally showed how he copied your concepts wow, and I told you. twisted it. Praise Yah, you kept your work for a time like this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, we Hallelujah. thank Yah. Because when we when we initially did that, I saw Yaki, um, and this was years ago. This is about four or five years ago. I seen Yaki take from it, duplicate it, twist it. And I don't have a problem with people being inspired by the studies because that's what that's it's for. Story. That's the purpose of it. Mm -hmm. But when someone takes it and then twists it, and then like um, when we use or are inspired by other ministries or other people within 
Israel, we always give them a shout out. We will always reference them. Just like um, the video that we mm -hmm. used yeah. um, during the Shabbat study was from Army of Israel headquarters, Brother Maharka. So I said, this is from Brother Maharka's channel. Mm -hmm. This is how we found out about the situation. Mm -hmm. And we always give acknowledgement. So it's, it's really a deceitful thing when people uh, will take, it's called emulations. And that's one of the, uh, the fruits of the uh, works of the flesh. You know, go ahead. Um, I have a text message from Sister Kalia. For some reason, okay. some of her, all of her comments aren't coming through. Mm. But she wanted to say, I just wanted to say, hallelujah, all praises. Praise and God. she's um, quoted Galatians 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. God, God not. is not mocked. Mm -hmm. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he mm -hmm. also reap. Mm. That's absolutely right, sis. Um, and they are chasing filthy lucre. And um, for years, I've said nothing because you don't have to respond to everything. And I've seen a lot of jabs that they did. And of course, openly, they tried to uh, uh, diminish from the Hebrew Israelite scriptures. They lied and said that I would add to the word or take away from the word. Now look at the ones who's actually adding and to, well, adding to the word and taking away from it. Oh, remember he said, sleek up, baby. Remember he said um, last night that we can't add or take away from the word because we're not scribes. Right, because we're not <laughs> scribes. <laughs> see the 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 uh, the uh, see how Yah's taking his understanding away from him, mm -hmm. and he's speaking more and more foolishness and folly. More and more folly is coming out of his mouth because the ruach, the gifts of the spirit that would have been with him, are now leaving him. Mm -hmm. So now he's speaking foolishly, as though no one can add or take to the word unless they're actually a, a Hebrew scribe or a, a biblical scribe. Um, but you know, that's what happens when you start lying and you start manipulating, then that spirit, um, creates a, a, a stronghold on you. And then whenever you start teaching the word from that point, you're going to have you're going to have lying associated with it. That's why we're telling everyone in Kai Yeshua not to watch them anymore because they're, they're not repenting. And, you know, we prayed for them to repent and there's no animosity. And we need them for nothing. We, you know, we don't need them for we don't need them for herbs. And like as we said, we're going to offer Yahweh an alternative, uh, an anointed alternative. We have an anointed herbal, uh, uh, herbal uh, herbalist mm -hmm. um, in Brother Ahmed, and we're going to be teaming it up together for you, for you all to have options um, so that you could continue uh, taking the herbs as you need for your own personal healing and benefit. Um, you know, so we're going to do that. I want to read a scripture really quick in the book of Proverbs, chapter 1. Um, Proverbs 1. Mm. Proverbs 1. And verse 28. We're in the book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 28. Mm -hmm. I believe that's Michelet. Okay. That's Michelet in Hebrew. That's right. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Right. There's going to come a time when they're going to call on Yah and Yehoshua, and he will definitely not answer them. And that time may be now. If not, he may show grace, but that grace is about to run out. Go ahead. <clears throat> Verse 29. For that they hated knowledge. They hated knowledge. It was shown to them. It was shown to all Israel. Everyone sees now. Mm -hmm. Right. Go ahead. Um, and did not choose the fear of Yahweh. They chose not to fear Yah. Go ahead. They leaned on their own understanding and said that Moses and Aaron were wrong for writing and scribing mm -hmm. the text. Mm -hmm. But him and Yaki know better than Moses and Aaron. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. They would none of my counsels. They despised all my reproofs. They didn't want to hear the counsel of Yah, and they despised all the reproofs of the Most High. Go ahead. Therefore shall they eat of the fruits so, of yeah, their own you're gonna way eat, you're going to eat some fruits but it's not going to be the fruits mm -hmm. <laughs> and the herbs that you think uh-huh you're going to eat the fruit of your own way not no fruit that comes out of the ground go ahead and be filled with their own devices right go ahead for the turning away of the simple shall slay them so you turning away and refusing to acknowledge that you were totally deconstructed that um you know the most high exposed you using your own words using your own words using your keys own words using your own website using your own actions that you did on videos mm -hmm. that you uplift and uphold chakra books hinduism books 
all of that, you, ref you refuse to acknowledge that these things were shown to all Israel and everyone's seeing it. So it's like you're not hiding anything. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the turning of away, uh, you're turning away from these facts is, is just going to be to your detriment. Go ahead. For the turning away, the of, the turning simple away shall slay of the simple them, shall slay and them, the and the prosperity of, of fools shall destroy, destroy them. them. So whatever prosperity you think mm -hmm. you're getting right now through filthy lucre, that's what's actually going to destroy you. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't bother us. Yeah. I mean, you don't affect our ministry clearly one way or the other. Uh, like we said, the Hebrews are like scriptures. Praise Yah. Kai Yeshua presses. Worldwide, it's throughout the four corners of the earth. Hallelujah. What more projects y'all willing to come? Yes. And more projects being worked on, despite your greatest efforts to stop it. So, I mean, like, we're not moved. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and, and you know, um, I, I just feel compare, compelled to um, share this. You know, there are people inside the chat currently, you know, because I don't want for folk to say, oh, they're doing this because they're trying to sell herbs. Mm-mm. There are people in the chat, and if you guys that know that we've actually been studying herbs mm -hmm. for quite some time mm -hmm. and already on a path to start offering herbs, mm -hmm. any of you guys that are aware of that in the chat, can you all go ahead and um, leave a comment inside mm -hmm. the chat that mm -hmm. this has been something that has been under works for quite mm -hmm. some time? We had herb books in my house, my parents, growing up in, in, in the truth. As a teen, we had books on herbs. We had uh, a lot of books. Um, back to uh, Back to Eden uh, was one I remember. We had books from uh, Dr. Lila Africa, who when I found out was a spiritist, I got rid of all his stuff. Mm -hmm. Y'all see the herbs that we grow out here? I mean, we've been growing. Uh, should have, it's not even, we don't even need to go. We don't need to prove anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your would say you'll know them by their fruit. Mm -hmm. Everyone who's on the chat or who's part of Kaiyashu already knows that we've been growing stuff in our gardens. Mm -hmm. um, you know so i mean all all of this ad this is what we this is what we resort to mm -hmm. they have to resort to ad hominem attacks mm -hmm. when you can't refute with scripture and you can't refute with facts and you can't refute with common sense all the things that they said you can't refute with science mm -hmm. we showed you how meat doesn't kill you because the asians in china and in japan have the longest lifespans in uh uh in in in, in the world uh, um, by uh, statistics, mm -hmm. um, and they eat all oh, kinds of evil meats, stuff. abomination <laughs> stuff that we would never touch. And if they have a longer lifespan as a whole than people here in the U.S. and the United States, and that shows you it's not the meat itself that kills, mm -hmm. but it's Amen. sin. And Yah judges his people according to their sins before he judges the rest of the heathen for theirs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was there anything else that? needed to be addressed um Emma Gwen mentioned how our garden is so nice Toda. um Cam thought um Shalom. Says she's I remember you giving Mark some herbs hallelujah yep, when he was here yes hallelujah. people who know know you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying and we don't we, we do a lot of things we don't we don't boast of right. you know your host would say when you do things you know you shouldn't sound a, a horn or a trumpet before yourself um, you you've, know, already got your reward. you've already got your reward for doing it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, um, people who know us, they see the herbs in our household. But um, but Brother Amit is an anointed herbalist, a very anointed herbalist, and has been doing this for decades. I've known about herbs and been taking them for decades. But his 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 knowledge of the subject is, is, is extremely anointed. Um, you know, so, you know, because they refuse to repent, we're going to have some options. And you can take these safely and know that there's nothing demonic attached to it. You know there's no curses and no uh, strongholds attached to what we're going to supply for you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People doing Reiki. Reiki. Which is Japanese demons. and Japanese herbal de de demons. Um, um, you know, spirit, uh, earth demons, mm -hmm. earth spirits, herb mm -hmm. spirits. That's what uh, uh, the witch doctor uh, Yaki and Malachi are into. At this point, we can't absolve Malachi because he's doubling down on the ignorance, you know, so he's he's a wizard as well. And um, when you whenever you take the scripture and you manipulate it knowingly and voluntarily, then, you know, it's wizardry, you know, so he's a wizard as well. Mm -hmm. Let's turn to the book of Hebrews again. So let's explain why the eating of meat is a necessity 
for our salvation, at least during the, the Feast of Passover and the Feast Days. We're going to go again to the book of Hebrews. Um, let's go to Hebrews chapter 2. Hebrews chapter 2. Um, let's start at verse 14. Hebrews 2 and 14. The book of Hebrews chapter 2, beginning at verse 14. Mm -hmm. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh the and blood. The children are partakers of what? Flesh and blood. Apples mm. and oranges. Flesh and blood. Mm. Cucumbers and tomatoes. Flesh mm. and blood. Mm. Okay, flesh and blood. He also himself likewise took part of the he same. Took, who was the he? Yehoshua. Yehoshua, a high priest forever after the order of? Melchizedek. Melchizedek. He took part in the same. Go ahead. That through death, that through death, he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil. That through death, you might destroy him that had power of death, that is the devil. So that's why it's mandatory to eat meat or lamb or flesh, at least during the feast and the holy seasons. So this whole doctrine of, oh, the flesh is dead and vegetables are life. And if you eat um, um, meat, then you're eating what's dead. Well, you're supposed to eat what's dead to partake in the sufferings that Yehoshua had to do for us. If you're not willing to partake in his sufferings, then, so you, can't then you can't get your salvation. Mm -hmm. Because now you're going back to the time of Adam and Eve when they eat, ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That's their so-called awakening and enlightenment with their uh, yoga meditation and their Hindu, me Hindu meditation that they're doing and promoting. That's what it leads you back to. So in a sense, your spine and, and your head become a symbol of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. That's your enlightenment. And then you have the Kundalini serpent going up the your spine. spine, which is going up this, this tree of knowledge of good and evil. That's what it is. And we explained that and showed that on his packaging. Uh, you have Shiva, the Hindu god of destruction, uh, the Hindu god of destruction, which is the the demon spirit that is behind Yaki and Malachi, and the the uh, the um, Melchizedek ministry. Shiva is the god of that organization. You know, uh, just because they say Yahweh does not mean they're of the Most High. When we pointed out in the book of uh, Matthew 15, where Yehoshua said, these people uh, confess me with their mouth, but their heart, heart is, far. is far from me. So, for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise, likewise took part of the same. That through death, that through he death. might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil. Go ahead. And deliver them who through fear of death mm -hmm. were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Go ahead. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, mm -hmm. but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Right. Wherefore, in all things, it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to Elohim, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. For in that he himself hath suffered being tempted, he is able to succour them that are tempted. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go up a little bit too. Um, let's go to Hebrews chapter two. Let's go to Hebrews two and let's read at verse nine. That's important as well. Hebrews two and nine. Hebrews chapter two, verse nine. But we see Yehoshua. Yehoshua, hallelujah. Who was made a little lower than the angels mm -hmm. for the suffering of death. For the suffering of death. So to say, oh, uh, it's ungodly for animals to suffer death. But Yehoshua had to suffer. But Yehoshua got to suffer death. No, Come on sense. now. So you put the animals above, above that of the Most High, mm -hmm. and that's how in Hin Hinduism they worship the animals. Mm -hmm. They worship cows. Mm -hmm. A cow, cattle was the main form of sacrifice um, in the Scripture. You have lambs and you have cows, oxen, and and cattle. So you're putting that above the reverence of Yehoshua Hamashiach, which is Baal worship. Baal was often depicted as what? As a bull. As a bull. Mm -hmm. So now this has become your God. So this is the God of um, uh, the Melchizedek ministries. Mm -hmm. It's the God of Hinduism. They're into Baal worship and Shiva worship. Go ahead. 
Verse 9. Verse 9. But we see Yehoshua, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, mm -hmm. crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of Elohim, should taste death for every man. Should taste apples. Should taste death. Should taste spinach. Should taste death. <laughs> should taste death. How do we taste death? Through eating meat. Through eating Through meat. Eating meat. Now, scripture again, we say it warns us about eating excess meats. Mm -hmm. We do not condone that, nor uh, do we promote that, nor do we do that. Excess meats is not good. Go ahead. Verse 10, for it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons unto glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. Made perfect through sufferings so Yehoshua was made perfect in his obedience to his suffering so we have to partake in that same to be worthy of his blood and wherefore part of that is for us to eat meat okay so that destroys the doctrine of you know anything uh that you eat that is quote unquote dead like flesh is not of the most high and it's of another god no actually what you're promoting is of another god and we pointed out in Jeremiah, what was it Jeremiah 8? Eight, eight. Where, they, where they used the, uh, the scribes of, of written in vain. And we showed how that was actually Malachi and his white handler um, who wrote that book. Was it the, the Nazarene Gospel? Mm -hmm. That's the scribes that Yehoshua was talking about. Mm -hmm. The ones who uh, write in these pseudo books, that these pseudo, pseudo gospels that you are, are promoting, Malachi and Yaki. That's the, uh, that's the scribes that is talking about. And it, it said, you might have healed the hurt of my people a little bit, but the Most High ain't really feeling you like that, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, all of those scriptures, you know, we know that you, uh, the people needed to hear. And, and, and we just thank y'all for revealing it to us by the Ruach. Hallelujah. And again, like we said, there's no, there's no animosity here. Yeah. It is what it is. You know, yeah. we, you know, we just thank y'all. We, you know, we're not. You know, then he tried to say that people are envious of them and all that. Like, envious of what, brother? Is we good? Yes. <laughs> you know, like, you know, we, we thank the most high for Hallelujah. what he provides for our family. We we, we have no complaints. No complaints. We're, we're not envious of uh, of anything uh, that you have to offer or, or, or anything that's in your possession. That's the 10th commandment. That's <coughs> not covet. That's your not. Anything mm -hmm. that's our neighbors. And the most high has blessed us with our own. We, we're, we're, we're quite well. You know, we're good. You know, told out your whole. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Yes, we, we have a few comments. Mm -hmm. um, Yaakov 12 Yehuda says, Brother Jediah and family, thank you so much for your obedience to the Most High Yehoah. I'm learning so much from your teachings. And yesterday's throwback, I'm just speechless. About to watch it again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was one of my favorite videos of all time mm -hmm. that we ever did. And as we showed on the Shabbat, I never erased that drawing on that marker board. Mm -hmm. That thing been sitting there for about five mm -hmm. or six years or maybe longer. I never I never erased it. You know, we had that marker board, but I just kept it. Some told me to keep it in this for a time like this. Hallelujah. All right. Jeff Herbert says, or Hubbard says, Good Shalom. shepherds protect the sheep mm -hmm. and they're charged. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah for Jediah Malek and the Kayashua family for shining the light on the wolves parading as sheep. All praise to Yehoshua HaMashiach for, you know, teaching us that we might share what we learn with you. Hallelujah. And uh, we, Ben um, Israel, said, it's clearly obvious these guys are looking to glorify themselves. Ghetto scholarship. Facts. I mean, like, it's not hard to see at all. Mm -hmm. That's why we're like, how are some of these people getting caught up in it? And then we understand, okay, they eaten the food sacrificed to idols. Mm -hmm. They took those herbs and those herbs created a stronghold over their heart mm -hmm. so they can't discern. And there's others who may have taken it, but they took it um, um, in ignorance, not knowing these things, but they had a, 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 a loving devotion to the Ruach HaKodesh, to the things pertaining to Yah. So the stronghold was not able to, to wrap onto them. To cleave to them mm -hmm. but others who had uh, a breach in their spirit when you eat something sacrificed to idols then it puts a yoke around you mm -hmm. 
And then that's how we have certain people getting caught up in that doctrine who should who should definitely know better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, um, Jim Reardon Jr. says, even the weapon of the minds of men will never defeat you. Isaiah 54 and 17. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peace and respect to the family. Shalom and to you. Y'all bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you. All right. And then here's a good question, babe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Brother Judah says, mm -hmm. why not sit down and talk to them in person? Oh, you know, years ago we tried talking to them mm -hmm. in person and they refused that and denied that. Um, and then today, Aki sent a message. And then when I went to check it, it said it was deleted. Mm -hmm. We could show the proof of that. I mean, mm -hmm. um, and they have yet to apologize for saying that we were going to uh, add to and write my own self. I'm going to insert myself within scripture when we restored the, the, the KJV and we created the Hebrew Israelite scriptures. They probably don't know the history. You know, mm -hmm. this was produced uh, by Kai Yeshua Ministries for Hebrews by Hebrews, the, the uh, Hebrew Israelite scriptures. This is the um, this is the KJV restored as it should have always been. All the names of the Most High, of Yehoshua, mm -hmm. of the prophets, of the saints restored. All the translation errors uh, restored to its uh, original intent. Mm -hmm. um, and years ago, I think it was 2015 or was it 2016? For when we did the work on the Hebrew Light Scripture. 2016, released in 2017. 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, Malachi tried to sabotage this work. And mm -hmm. you can go to our website. Uh, you can just put it in the chat right now. www.hebrewscriptures.com Hebrews made for us by us. Um, so it is uh, the library includes, I think we have maybe about seven medals now or so somewhere around there. Um, and it's for our people, by our people. And it's, um, um, we have people around. Um, so we just thank God for your support and, and the family. We, we really, truly, you know, we have a lot of, a lot of made. The website is HebrewIsraeliteScriptures.com. And that's where you can see the whole copy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, and it was presented to him. And thank you, Brother Ahmed and Brother um, um, and, and your disciples who helped to to bring that. And um, I hope that Brother Hope and y'all bless you, Brother. I hope to meet you one day. Uh, yes. mm -hmm. yeah, it's still bad. It's still buffering. Okay. okay, it's trying to come back now. Yeah, it just tried. To so come back. we should go inside the house. Yeah, I, that's what I was saying. All right, so yeah. let's go inside yeah. the house. Yeah, it's. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go inside the house, family, um, and continue this study because where we are now, the connection might be a little bit bad. So we're gonna go inside and for, for bearing with us. I wanted to get into a few more scriptures real quick, so let's let's get into some. Right. So you can okay, talk it's coming to the up. People. Okay, shalom, family, shalom, shalom. Yeah, it looks like we are finally in the back. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Mm -hmm. Hallelujah! Yeah, you know, the internet and, you know, the uh, the prince of the airways. So, hallelujah. I rebuked that in Yehoshua's, Yehoshua's name. So, name. we are back. Hallelujah. We are so glad that y'all have all joined us. Um, you know, and then for that person that had posted about talking to them, I think you missed the beginning of this video. Um, this evening, Malcolm McAbee went live and said he's not entertaining irrelevant Negroes. Hmm. Who else would he be talking about? So, to you, Brother Judah, asking that question in the wrong place. Right. Hallelujah. And furthermore, um, as um, our husband said, Yaki messaged him on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And when he went to check the message, Yaki unsent the message. So, that could have possibly, you know, transpired, but mm -hmm. hey. Yep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom, Sister Gladys and our family and everybody. Hallelujah. We're getting set up again here. All right. Okay. Bear with us one second again, brothers and sisters. Again, we're grateful that you would uh, take this time to be with us. 
Hallelujah. Yeah. There we go. All right. That's better? Yes. Scoot in over here, Bunny. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. All yeah, right. that's nice. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. So Malachi Maccabee said that now first they said they would bring the smoke to anybody, right? They anybody. said anybody. Anybody, anybody that smoke. wanted it could get this business, could get this work. And they have scholarship to rely on. They have common sense to rely on. They have so, uh, science to rely on. We use all of those things to to utterly uh, refute and dismantle, you know, their doctrine. And now they refuse to even acknowledge that it is happening. It's really making them look quite foolish right now because every the video is going everywhere and everyone's talking about it. And I don't know how many people mess messaged us after that shot by it, right? Mm -hmm. And we, how many people uh, uh, reached out to us on Facebook and YouTube and mm -hmm. email mm -hmm. and Messenger, mm -hmm. all kinds of people like from all over the place. Man, mm -hmm. man, I knew it. Man, think people from other countries, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. so I mean like, you know, to to use ad hominems to try to say, oh, we're insignificant or to say you're not going to mention us. You don't have to mention us. We're mentioning Yehoshua's name. We don't even go around boasting ourselves. You don't you don't hear me boasting my name around and saying I'm this and I'm that. So that's OK. May, may I share something? Ishi? Go ahead. All right. So I got a message. I just got a I got a Facebook message since we've been live from a sister mm -hmm. who says that um, Malachi is live now. Oh, okay. And that he's talking about Jediah said he had a false prophecy in 2012. Who have a, pro a false prophecy? We now, now I need to upload that video too. Thank you, Malachi. What we're <laughs> going to do now is we're going to go into crates and how I addressed you then and destroyed your doctrine back then and your mm -hmm. false accusations. So we'll, we, like I said, we have nothing to hide from. Right. So we can upload all the old stuff. You don't want it like that. You know, and, and if anyone is a false prophet, who is the greatest false prophet in all of Israel right now is you. Yes. It is you. You are the worst of anybody in Israel. You and Yaki are the worst. You are telling people that the Bible is not reliable anymore and whole sections of scripture is not inspired by Yah. Mm -hmm. Moses didn't know what he was writing about. Paul didn't know what he was writing about. Mm -hmm. There's no worse prophet in Israel than you. But what does it say that you can't you still aren't addressing what's been brought out in 2021 mm -hmm. right your attempt to discredit mm -hmm. is to try to go to a throwback or something that was already addressed mm -hmm. and like you said we have the videos mm -hmm. not a problem but you know that just shows you family that's the sermon that you have mm -hmm. to use if facts have been presented right now a reiki healer mm -hmm. Uh, peace of the gods, peace of the earth, mm -hmm. no acknowledgement. All of these things, they're not addressing. They're not addressing it. But you want to try to go dig up something that was addressed and dealt with. And publicly addressed. You know, publicly addressed. It's now 20. It and made you look foolish right. while right. doing it. I mean, like, we can go into all of that, Malachi. I mean, like, you, you don't want to go there. Yaki, y'all yeah. don't want to go there. Malachi and Yaki, I mean, y'all don't want to go there. That's exactly why you're using ad hominems right now. Mm -hmm. That's exactly why y'all not dealing with the facts and so forth. I mean, I, I just, when we watch the live video, mm -hmm. you know, I've who talks? And while they're teaching, they're doing this. While they're teaching, what is the, I'm like, what is the what is the logic behind that? Why, right. I mean, why would you need to do these hand gestures while you're teaching? Right. It, I mean, it, it just doesn't it doesn't mm -hmm. make sense. It really doesn't. So it's funny how things go around full circle, mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't know the history. So you falsely accused us of false prophecy mm -hmm. to you becoming the greatest false prophets in Israel to you making Illuminati pyramids, um, and you. Worshiping the gods and the earth. You worshiping Allah. Arm, leg, leg, arm, head. You worshiping the Reishi, the Reishi, the Reiki spirits. Mm -hmm. um, you worshiping Hinduism. And then you diminishing from entire portions of scripture. Mm -hmm. So it's funny how it goes full circle. Plus you tried to stop the Hebrew Israelite scriptures from going out. Mm -hmm. And now it's going worldwide. And to now being... From starting out as a KJV only, which you were, Malachi. I mean, we, got, we, can, we can go to the records. To you now denying the KJV. And then when we restored the KJV, you said it was evil for us to try to restore it, that it didn't need any restoration. And now it's been done. Now you want to deny the KJV. See the full circle? See the full circle? Humbly speaking, um, 
um, until um, Yehoshua used Kayashua ministry to work on the lost acts of the holy apostles. Mm -hmm. I've never heard anything about a lost acts of a holy apostles mm -hmm. until it was birthed, praise Yehoshua HaMashiach, through Kayashua. Yeah, and then now everybody has these lost acts books that mm -hmm. they're reading from that we've been working on for over a year. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So, you know, like we, we can, by Shem Yehoshua HaMashiach, like we can go through the history. We can show how uh, uh, Malachi emulated the whole setup of Kai Yeshua. Our former setup when we set up at the desk and we had the, the MacBooks on the table and a, and a horn, how you emulated our whole look, Malachi, how far you want to go back. How we already showed how Yaki emulated our study mm -hmm. on the seven seals within the spine. You don't want to go there. I mean, we can we can go there if you want to, but you don't even want to go there with what happened on the Shabbat. So you're going to run from everything else, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so you really I mean, you really don't want to go there. You emulated Kai Yeshua over all the years. And I said nothing because if it inspires people. Hallelujah. 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 That's what it's supposed to do, inspire. Right. Mm -hmm. But when you emulate and then you try to discredit where you're getting your inspiration from, and then you're stealing inspiration, because now you're stealing it because you're trying to take the credit away from mm -hmm. where it belongs, then you're a thief. The word talks about that. Yes. Stealing from stealing his my neighbor. Words. From mm -hmm. Stealing the words from his neighbor. Right. Um, there's a scripture I'm going to get to. Um, you was going to read something? Mm -mm. Okay. Um, well, you can read some comments. Let me pull up something okay. real quick. All right. Uh, Jeremiah Ben Shiloh says, Brother Jediah, that was an excellent breakdown. Thank of you. These Praise you. False God. doctrine running rapid in Israel. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Carlos Thank you. Brown Praise says, Todai Jediah Malek for exposing that cult leader. Praise you. Yeah, Ben DT said, cry aloud, rebuke, and spare not. Amen. Um, Jamila says, once you know the signs, you know the people and who they worship. He openly gave praise of his God. Mm, openly. And um, Sister Annette says, and this was the primary reason why Jediah even ever... Um, brought up this. Mm -hmm. This is the primary reason, your your reply. Mm -hmm. She says, my brother, these individuals are destroying our youth yes. that seeking yes. the most high. This is the devil's work. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Israel's child says, I pray the spell on his followers be broken. I pray. That's what this is all about. You know, breaking the spells that are happening. We're like in the last of the last day, y'all. How could people be in this body of Yehoshua HaMashiach to then fall away at the very end, having known it, uh, themselves as Hebrews for however many years that they want to boast about, which then just to turn around at the end and then mm -hmm. go back to sleep. Then, and go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. Let's get just how uh, uh, Yah prophesied about how that would happen. First, I'm going to go to uh, Jeremiah 23. Jeremiah 23 and verse 30. Brother Amit said, um, Shalom. Babe, he mm -hmm. said, here we go. They walking in the Absalom Ruach. Mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Dang. Jeremiah 23 and 30. Like, like I said, these are things that I never talk about, you know, because it's not important, you know, if people, you know, inspired by the ministry, so be it. Hallelujah. That's great. But when you come with a spirit of envy behind it and pride and then uh, and then you're stealing and you're using it to uh, steal souls away from Yehoshua, that's where the problem is. And that's why we're saying something, because, you know, it doesn't matter. We're not into, oh, they, they tried to take the way we look, or they tried to do it. That doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? It's about souls at the end of the day. and about salvation of our people. Mm -hmm. So let's go to Jeremiah 23 and 30. Oh, let's start at actually uh, 28. The book of Jeremiah? Actually, 20... <laughs> Oh, man. Jeremiah 23, 25. Jeremiah 23, 25. All right. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, beginning at verse 25. I have heard what the prophet said, that prophesy lies in my name. Do it again. I have heard mm -hmm. what the prophet said, 
that prophesy lies in my name, mm. saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Mm -hmm. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. The deceit of their own heart. Moses lied to you. Paul lied to you. And whoever else talked about eating meat was lying to you. Yehoshua lied to you. When he took the fish, <laughs> it was actually grapes. But then they say they're Nazarenes and Yehoshua was a Nazarene, mm -hmm. which actually the Nazarite vow, which I explained the other day, didn't actually apply to Yehoshua until after he was resurrected. That's when the Nazarite vow actually applied to Yehoshua. But you don't know nothing about that either, Malachi. Mm -hmm. um, for him to be, if you claiming... And this gospel that he is a Nazarite while he walked the earth and he's giving out grapes instead of flesh, then he's breaking the Nazarite vow. Mm -hmm. So your own doctrine destroys itself, Malachi and Yaki. Mm -hmm. Y'all, y'all, your own doctrine is terrible. It's trash, you know, um, and, and, and people see that now. And I think that's what bothers you is that, you know, people see it. And it's not just because we're saying it, it's because people are using their discernment and the Ruach HaKodesh is, 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 is talking to the people. And now, you know, uh, Yah's moving you out of the way. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he's going to provide, like, uh, um, alternatives for people for their healing. And you're upset about these things, you know, because you're, you've been filled with the spirit of filthy Luca. I understand mm -hmm. what it is. Go ahead. All right. We are in Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 27. Mm-hmm which think to cause my people to forget my name. Yaki mm -hmm. doesn't even say Yehoshua's name. He just says Messiah mm -hmm. because he can't say Yehoshua's name because of the unclean spirits in him that it would break. So they, you know, most unclean, do you have certain unclean spirits that can say Yehoshua's name? Mm -hmm. It depends on the type of spirit that it is. If it's an emulating spirit, um, it depends on the type of stronghold. Some Demons come out by prayer and fasting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some come out by the name of Yehoshua. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if someone is demonically possessed and they refuse to say the name of Yehoshua, then you know it's, that's the weakness of that spirit. That spirit, when it says Yehoshua, it will be weakened and it might be cast out over time if Yehoshua comes forth out of his own mouth. So it won't say that. Um, so you could pray and fast against a spirit like that and it may not be effective because it's actually the name that casts it out. Mm -hmm. And then you have other spirits that come out through prayer and fasting and you could rebuke it all day long mm -hmm. in the name of your whole child, I rebuke you and it won't have power mm -hmm. because or it won't have power until you pray and fast rather. You know what I'm saying? So there's different, um, you know, there's different ways of spiritual warfare that our people have to, to understand. So when you see that Yaki doesn't even mention Yehoshua's name anymore, uh, mm -hmm. you know that the spirits that are in him can't mm -hmm. say it. Mm -hmm. All right. We are in Jeremiah chapter 23, mm -hmm. and it was verse 27. Go ahead. Which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, mm -hmm. as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. Right, so they have forgotten Yehoshua's name for Baal. So we showed you how Malachi and Yaki worship Baal. It's all over their website. It's all over their products. It's, master. Uh, yeah, master. <laughs> uh, Yaki is a master Reiki healer. Master means Baal in Hebrew. That's how you say master. Mm -hmm. He's a he's a Baal. He's a priest for Baal. He's a soothsayer. So we showed you there's soothsayers who use, as someone said in the comments, it was a great comment, mm -hmm. who use um, emotionalism and tricky words to deceive the people. Mm -hmm. You know, and so that's where we get ad hominem attacks from and trying to say, oh, well, you said this and you said that because they can't deal with the facts of what was just presented on Shabbat. And even back then, we dealt with that, too. Mm -hmm. And like we said, all of those videos we took down over time where we rebuke people. Because after years, why do it, it just it only brews black, bad blood. Mm -hmm. It only brews contention. So, you know, after time, then, you know, you allow things to, to move on. But they never did. Mm -hmm. And we showed the hypocrisy. You can see, what is it, uh, Jedi, Beware of Jedi Mind Tricks video? Mm -hmm. You know, which is, you know, it's funny. We laugh at it um, <laughs> because you try to use that to diminish my name so that when people search my name, but all it did was make people search my name that much more. Mm -hmm. And it just made the works go forth that much greater. 
I mean, yeah. it's not out. You know, I don't even want to talk about numbers in a minute. I'm not going to do that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, yeah, um, you know, it's all glory to your host. It hasn't affected us, brother. Hallelujah. Actually, if anything, it's done the opposite. So, you know, and as you continue to do that, you don't understand it's actually doing the opposite. Mm-hmm. You, you know, um, go ahead. All right. Verse 28. Mm-hmm. The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. He that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. You don't speak the word of Yah faithfully. And now you've taken away from his word. So this shows the type of spirit that you're operating in, that you're denying the words of the Most High by denying what Moses said, by denying what Yehoshua did in feet and fish to the multitudes. You're, you're not faithful with his word anymore. So that's why, you know, I, I've been hearing through the grapevine that you're very sick. You know, I've been hearing that for, for, for actually for months, mm-hmm. you know, that you've been walking around coughing, you, you know, your voice has been changing, you've been hoarse while teaching, There's stuff like this. I mean, I've been hearing about this for months. I don't, I don't say nothing, you know what I'm saying? I mind my business. People come to me. Malachi is sick, you know, you know, like how are you sick and you sit next to a herbalist? You know, I mean, th- this is what's been going on. People are like, you know, hear, hear how his voice is all raspy and such and such, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff. But you've been sitting with Yaki for years. Mm-hmm. So how that work, brother? I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? How, how that work? Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead. All right. Verse 28. Twenty-eight. The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream, and he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. Faithfully. Go ahead. What is the chaff to the wheat? Saith Yehoah. Mm-hmm. Is not my word like as fire? Is saith not my word Yehoah, like fire? Uh huh. And like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. That's how I said the word was the Shabbat, right? It was yes. like a hammer. Yes, it was like a hammer. Because everybody was like, man, Ma- Ma- Malachi and Yaki got cut. And I was like, nah, it was more like a hammer. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. We, was, we was like, nah, that was more like a hammer. You know, it wasn't like a cut so much. It was, they really got smashed. The, the doctrine that they said really got smashed, you know. Go ahead. Um, verse 30. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets. I am against the prophets. Saith Yehoah. Saith Yehoah. That steal my words. That steal my words. Everyone from his Everyone neighbor. Everyone from his neighbor. So you would see what we would do here at Kai Yeshua, and you would steal our words. You would steal our words for years. And I never said nothing. I never said anything. But we, we saw, and people would come and tell us, and we seen, we would just say, hallelujah, all praise to the most high. But Yaki stole our words that we did. We we proved the evidence of that. Um, you you stole like just like uh, Sister Levatia said. We bring out lost acts of the holy apostles. Then all of a sudden you got to find all these try extra missing books. But the thing is that your missing books are not inspired of the Most High. Mm-mm. There's a lot of missing books, but not all of the missing books are actually inspired works. Mm-hmm. So some of them are actually false works. So. You picked up false works and you couldn't discern them because you were already doing Hinduism. And that Hinduism distorted your ability to discern. So now when you look for missing books, your discernment was way off. And, um, you know, and it caused, uh, you know, things to change, you know, in your spirit and in your heart. Um, You know, so that's what's going on. Let's go ahead. Um, The next thing we wanted to read was... um, Man, you had I said a comment, and I said I wanted to read something else. What was the last comment you read? I have wanted to get to this Jeremiah about how they steal the words. Spirit of Absalom is the last one I read. Yeah, before uh, there was something else. Mm. There was another thing we was getting. Oh, that's right. How they wait to the end times. They wake up and fell back to sleep. <laughs> just to just to go back to sleep. Let's go to the book of Daniel. I want y'all who's watching this go to the book of Daniel, chapter twelve. Daniel, chapter twelve. They wake up just to go back to sleep. Daniel 12. Daniel 12. Let's start at verse 1. This is talking about the last days. This is talking about our generation right now. This is talking about all of Israel and their awakening today. Go ahead. The book of Daniel chapter 12, beginning at verse 1. Mm Mm-hmm. And at that time shall Mikael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, 
such as never was since there was a nation. So Jacob's trouble was going to come upon us, right? Go ahead. Even to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. At that time, when Jacob's trouble comes, that's when deliverance for all of the nation will come. Go ahead. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Everyone written in the book of life. So it says in Revelations, if you take anything out of this book, your name shall be taken out of the book of life. So now when you start taking out whole sections of uh, the dietary mm -hmm. law and you start taking out whole sections of what Yehoshua did, feeding fish mm -hmm. to the multitudes, and you start taking out entire sections about oh. sacrifices um, and the priest offering, and you take out whole sections about, Paul, your name is not in the book of life anymore. Mm -hmm. This is facts. This is, this is scripture. Go ahead. Mm. Uh, verse okay, two. verse two. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life. Many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth. That means the people who are oppressed, the children of Israel. Many of them shall awake, some to everlasting life. So some people are going to wake up from their sleep to come into the truth to receive everlasting life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. And some to shame and everlasting mm -hmm. contempt. Mm -mm. Some as uh oh yeah, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Mm -hmm. So some people are going to wake up just to be damned. Mm -hmm. Some people read that again. Jan right. Daniel 12 and 2 from the top. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Mm -hmm. Some to everlasting life. Some people life. are going to wake up to everlasting life. And some to shame and everlasting contempt. And some will wake up to shame and everlasting contempt. So when you see people like this ministry, they're waking up to shame and everlasting contempt. They woke up to come into the truth just to be damned, mm -hmm. just to deny Yehoshua at the end and deny his word. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we're doing this so that people are not led astray by that. It says some people are going to wake up to everlasting life and some people are going to wake up, go full circle and go right back to sleep and fall into doctrines of devil, devils to their own condemnation. Mm. That's scripture. Mm -hmm. And so now when you see people starting to deny the word, well, how do we know the Bible? You got to put a, a question mark on the Bible. And then misusing Jeremiah 8 about the pen of the scribes. Um, and we showed you how that applied to the scribe who wrote this Nazarene gospel. And Malachi and Yaqi for continuing in the lives of that. They are the lying scribes. And these are the ones who have stolen the words of Yah. And, it's, and then it says they don't not only steal Yah's words, but they steal words from who? Their neighbors. Amazing. So you've stolen our words from Kai Yeshua over the years. But we, we never said nothing. Because, hey, if people are being edified at the end of the day, that's what really matters. But then when you start to try to diminish, you know, um, the, the works that we do, and then, you know, try to use ad hominems, in order to continue to justify yourselves at deceiving people, then that's why we have to say something. So that's what this is about, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're supposed to prove all things. So mm -hmm. if we're doing videos and we're saying, Yahweh couldn't have said this, there's no way Yahweh said this. We should have primary sources from wherever mm -hmm. to back up the fact Line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little and there a little, to back up the fact that Yahweh didn't say this. Right. Break down what is a primary source for those who may not know. They said they don't want smoke with the scholarship. What is a primary source in terms of scholarship? Just break it down for them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a, a, primary, a primary source, like, for instance, with the word, um, if you look to the word, Originally, you know, the word was written in one of two things, you know, either um, Hebrew, Aramaic. So mm -hmm. those would be primary sources because mm -hmm. everything else that came, came after, yes. you know, the Hebrew writings are the Aramaic writings. Absolutely. So you can't go to, you can't start at, let's say, um, even... Uh, uh, the Septuagint. You can't just start there mm -hmm. because there were writings that the Septuagint wrote Came about, from. but the Septuagint was derived from a previous writing. So which something was that Hebrew. was written before that, which was the Hebrew. Right. You know, so... When so you, in terms of Hebrew Israelites, mm -hmm. what's our primary source? Hebrew. Hebrew is our primary source. Mm -hmm. So an artifact that is a primary source are the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
that is a primary source because it has evidence of the scriptures that we read from now in Hebrew that where that's where it came from. Right. So it has the Isaiah scroll that Yehoshua read from in the New Testament. That's right. That's in a primary, that's a primary source. source. Yeah. What's a secondary source? A secondary source is something, or uh, uh, I forgot the source after that, that is like, say, for example, an English translation of a Greek translation that came from originally Hebrew. Mm -hmm. So now you're taking secondary sources and worse Malachi of this so-called uh, Nazarene gospel. You should have the original text. You, sh you see us every Shabbat. We get up here and we read straight from the Hebrew. Yes, we do. And we discern straight from the Hebrew. When you do that, that's mm -hmm. primary sources. Mm -hmm. So you talk about scholarship. All of the so-called scholarship that you use, Malachi, would be thrown out in a scholastic, se in a scholastic setting. Yep. The people involved in a, a scholarly debate would not even, you would be disqualified because you don't use primary sources. You can't go into the Hebrew and break it down. Mm -hmm. So you said use scholarship. So we went into the Hebrew and we showed where Yehoshua fed the people with fish. Then da we da broke dagim. Dagim. Which is fish is. It's Which plural is fish because is scripture plural. says fish is. Right. Mm -hmm. Dog is singular. Right. For fish. So we showed that, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's primary source, Hebrew. So we go to there, and then we went to the Strong's to show how the spelling is mm -hmm. just as a second witness. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. So if you're saying these Gospels are official, you should be able to go to primary sources. Now, the Lost Acts of the Holy Apostles, you have primary sources in Aramaic and Amharic, mm -hmm. which, which is Ethiopian. the Ethiopian Israelites mm -hmm. who have kept the faith longer than any group on the face of planet Earth. Mm -hmm. They've been keeping Torah since the days of King Solomon mm -hmm. to this day. The lost acts of the holy apostles that we use come from that, which are primary sources. And we have a primary source of that document. And then we have an English translation of that document. Mm -hmm. You can't produce that. Mm -hmm. And then to add to that, the Most High blessed us, Yehoshua gifted us with artwork from Ethiopia yes. that actually applied to, to the lost the acts of the holy apostles, yes. which we had, we yeah, didn't, didn't have it for years. Yeah, we yeah. had artwork for years and was wondering, what picture is this? I know it's a Bible picture, mm -hmm. it's a picture from scripture, but mm -hmm. we never knew we what never it knew. was until we read the lost acts of the holy apostles and then we see the artwork. We said, oh, that's Paul doing the thing with the lion, or this mm -hmm. is such and such, and that's so and so. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, that's, that's, uh, um, Bartholomew, um, I mean, uh, yeah, Bartholomew, Bartholomew, that's him raising a woman up in the yeah. air, and, you know, <laughs> and Nika out by her hair yeah. in the air. Yeah. Uh, and we had this artwork and didn't know what biblical uh, um, passage it was depicting mm -hmm. that was in Ethiopia mm -hmm. by our people for our, our people. people. Your yeah. book that you use, this Nazarene gospel, was made by a Khazar. Mm -hmm. It was made by a Khazar. So it's not a primary source. So you trying to come into a debate using a Nazarene gospel, you would be disqualified. So we want to familiarize the audience, our brothers and sisters, with the rules of a debate in a scholastic setting. Mm -hmm. You know, what I want y'all to do mm -hmm. is I want you to look at some of the maybe the emails or the Facebook messages that we got after the study or even text messages just to, to, to show uh, some of the people saying, yes, I knew this was a false doctrine that Malachi Yankee was, was teaching. We just needed to know how to put it all together and so forth and so on. Mm -hmm. So you can see, the, the uh, we want y'all to hear what, the, what, the, what Israel is saying out there. And the, the, we know we've been getting messages, we've been getting texts, we've been getting emails, we've been getting Facebook, Instagram, all kinds of stuff. Um, people from all over so excited about that video that we dropped. So you choosing to not acknowledge it or you choosing to use ad hominems is not effective. You know, so we just want to, you know, thank the people for um, for reaching out. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to say their names, okay. but just, you know, just read some of the comments. All right. So um, quite a few people were talking about chakras are evil, mm -hmm. that they are the traditions of Hinduism. Mm -hmm. um, one person said, I looked up chakra 
and it's not in the Bible. No. Mm -hmm. And there is no Hebrew word called chakra. Nope. Just mm -hmm. like reincarnation is not in the Bible. Amen. They're all Hinduism. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know. You know. So we have messages. Um, if you if you you know think they're kind of personal messages, you don't have to necessarily yeah. read them. If a lot of them are personal like that, and we don't want to put people's names out there, but we've been getting a lot of messages, a lot of comments, yes. mm -hmm. a lot of, of of private messages and so forth about these things. Um, and um, and no, you know, a lot of people they see it for what it is. And so that's why we're here doing these videos. Mm -hmm. And the people that were appreciative of us re-uploading yes, the original video, yes, very yes, much yes, appreciative yes, yes. because you all saw the board, the marker board that has been kept mm -hmm. um, since that was done. And so now by us uploading that, now those of you who weren't with us at that time, you get to see mm -hmm. that... Yeah, Hoshua gifted Jediah to teach this according to the scriptures. There was no need to go For into any other mm -hmm. books that don't line up with the word of the Most High. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 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 So you see the proud boasting like that anyone, that, can anyone pull up a video with us teaching Hinduism? We showed y'all mm -hmm. that from the initial, from the outset. Mm -hmm. So you know that everything else that Malachi says is a lie. And how he's twisting things and so forth and so on. Because we got videos in our arch archives about these situations. But I'm wondering if it's necessary to get into that. Because I don't want to get into a back and forth. Yeah. You know, I, it's not about that. You, you know, Malachi, you can take all the tears with you. You know, so the tears that's being separated from the wheat, that's okay. So they can go with you. We're concerned about the people who have a love for the Most High, his sheep and the wheat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's the people we're mm -hmm. concerned about. So, you know, trying to get into an ad hominem type thing, we don't need to. We can just look at your doctrine, dismantle it, deconstruct it, expose it, and then ship for Israel. They got eyes to see. Everyone's seeing that you're, 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 you're running from the situation, that you can't acknowledge the situation, that you can't acknowledge the evidence that was brought out from right. your own that's words. Everyone that. sees that, Malachi. And the people who um, who choose not to see that, we know those are the tears. Mm -hmm. So we're not concerned about that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let them stay with you. That's okay. Mm -hmm. And and you know, and we're gonna create alternative um, 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 access for people who need um, um, herbal uh, um, herbs. You know, we're gonna we're gonna try to establish that so people don't have to go without, so that they can still patronize within the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, and we thank Yah for the track record he's given us with the Hebrew Israelite scriptures and the Kai Yeshua mm -hmm. press. Mm -hmm. You know, people see the work that we have done. They mm -hmm. see that we have done it with integrity, you know, by Shem Yehosha HaMashiach. Oh, we have been, you know, uh, faithful in what has been entrusted to us and you haven't, you know. And, and, and I think people see that and, and, you know, and that's what this is about. A separation between the sheep and the goats. A, t a separation between the wheat and the tares. So we're concerned about the sheep. We're concerned mm -hmm. about the the wheat, and you can have the goats and the tares. That's fine. Yehoshua said, "My people hear my sheep hear my voice." Yes. So the the people who saw the video, they heard the voice of Yehoshua speaking through it, mm -hmm. through the words, and through the true Melchizedek priesthood. You call yourself Melchizedek Ministries. We expose that you you, you don't understand the Melchizedek priesthood because you would never say that meat is a, a, an abomination eating flesh is not of the most high if you were truly of the order of melchizedek mm -hmm. you can't you can't um identify with the sufferings of messiah without eating meat mm -hmm. at least during the feast days mm -hmm. you have to taste death mm -hmm. in order to identify and acknowledge Yahushua's sufferings hallelujah. hallelujah hallelujah and and you know um the most high will always expose you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what better way than the fact that you said the people were fed grapes instead of fish, but you said that you all are Nazarene. And the Nazarite vow is to eat nothing from the grapevine. You can't even touch it. You can't nope. even touch it. Mm -mm. So, I mean, this is like, it's going to, just like what it was, it Psalm 64 and 8? Yeah, Our let's get that. shall fall upon their own Psalm heads. 64 and 8, yeah, let's get that right now. Absolutely. That was like one of the best parts of the whole study. Mm -hmm. He gave out grace, but wasn't he a Nazarene? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Psalm 64 and 8. 
Psalm 64, verse 8. Oh, actually, let's start at 7. Mm -hmm. Okay, beginning at verse 7. But Elohim shall, shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. Mm -hmm. So shall they make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. Their own tongue is going to fall upon themselves. Just like you said, we don't need Hebrew for salvation. Mm -hmm. Then, I what mean. What video you got? Yeah. <laughs> you said we don't need Hebrew for salvation. Then, months later, when you see that the Most High is causing us to flourish in teaching and people want a Hebraic understanding, then you try to start teaching Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Then you say, what video you got we teaching Hinduism? Mm -hmm. Then we showed a video of you teaching Hinduism mm -hmm. and you sitting in the Hindu video. You partaking in it. Mm -hmm. The gods of the earth, love, life, and healing, mm -hmm. love, life, and peace, right? Mm -hmm. You partaking in it. We mm -hmm. showed that. And then, uh, man, there was one other thing too I'm trying to remember. Oh, the radio show that you were part of. Mm -hmm. Oh, we ain't never going nowhere. We 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 going ride or die and such and such and such and such. And I told and I said in the video, it's just a matter of time before the most high break apart that radio station. Mm -hmm. Was it even a year later? Before they fell apart? At their, I, their award ceremony? Oh, yeah. at, at somewhere after that? Somewhere after that. I mean yeah. the most high had it come out my mouth beforehand and then it happened. So I yeah. mean like Malachi, mm -hmm. like what Yaki, Malachi, like what what do you what you, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we, we standing on a rock. We building our house on the foundation of the rock. And you building on sand. And, you know, we, we understand why it's filthy Lucas for filthy Lucas that you're doing it. But we'll just, you know, read another scripture. You can't serve two ma masters. You can't mm -hmm. serve Elohim and Mammon. Mm -hmm. Luke 16. And y'all read some comments if there's any more. And then I guess we'll start um, wrapping this up. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jeff, Herb, uh, Jeff Hubbard says... Shalom. This totally reminds me of Eliyahu versus Baal worshipers. Mm. The Most High is using Jediah to rain down fire on their twisted doctrine. By Shem Yehoshua. Hallelujah. All praise to Yehoshua. Hallelujah. Sister Is says, This year has certainly revealed the separation of the wheat from the tares. Indeed. I pray that they repent before it's way too late. We pray so, and we still pray for their repentance. We don't wish no harm on nobody. We want as many souls as can be saved to be saved and in, in all sincerity. So have mercy, Father. Mm -hmm. Israel's mm -hmm. child said, for all the years of following Kai Yeshua, their fruit has remained constant and even blossom. So seeing these people try to go up against y'all is a joke. Repent. By Shem Yehoshua. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, that's what it was. We start doing Hebrew. We did the Hebrew at the beginning, right? Uh -huh. We start singing songs in Hebrew. Oh, yeah. Then all of a sudden, they start trying to sing songs in Hebrew at the beginning. Uh -huh. But they said we didn't need it. But then now they want to sing in Hebrew, mm -hmm. emulating what we were doing when we were doing praise and worship with the drums. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, we could go on. I'm like, there's a lot of stuff, family, over here. We haven't said nothing. No. But Hebrew's not needed, but then they want to open their, their cool. open their uh, studies trying to sing a song in Hebrew, emulating what we're doing in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But they said we never needed it. Mm -hmm. We didn't say nothing. We continued to worship and we did what we did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Tell me, put a put a put a put a one in the chat if y'all know what we're talking about. We did praise and worship in Hebrew, then all of a sudden now they gotta do praising, try to do something in Hebrew. Opening up and with the with the, uh, with the, with uh, the, uh, the prayer, prayer of Yehoah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. If you go back years ago, they didn't open they didn't up do that. no prayer in Hebrew. They did not do that. Mm -hmm. They did mm -hmm. not do that. That came from what Yah has inspired us to do. Mm -hmm. And so be it. You know what I'm saying? Like we said, it's supposed to inspire people. Mm -hmm. But then when you emulate it and then you try to come and say that, oh, uh, we false prophets and all, then why are you still emulating everything we do? Why are you watch everything we do and emulate it? Why? Like, I don't, you know, who does that? <laughs> No, go ahead. All right. Yaakov 12 Yehuda says, This is why that once saved, always saved is a lie mm. from the pit of hell. For Revelations 22, 18 and 19 clearly tells you that names shall be removed mm. from mm. the tree of life. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Amen. And um, Crystal Heretus says, mm -hmm. I definitely wouldn't go back and forth with the evil dudes at some point. Got to dust off your feet and leave Shake people the with dust the off truth. Your feet. That's right. 
We sounded the horn. We sounded the trumpet. It, you know, it doesn't say in Ezekiel, you got to keep going back every day and sounding the trumpet over and over again. It said, those who don't listen to it, their blood be where? Um, on their yeah, own head. Yeah, on their own head. Mm -hmm. So this was like, we don't need to do all that. You didn't want to debate. You didn't, you know, as you said, people didn't want to smoke, but we see who really didn't want to smoke. Because when that, whenever someone else said it, you did a video immediately <laughs> and you came against it. You can't even come against the video. You can't even come against it. And we showed your own words. We showed, mm -hmm. your, we showed your own words and your own actions. That's why you can't come against it. And we came through it. The most I gave the understanding to go through it through the Melchizedek priesthood. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you can't come against it because that's who you say you are. So you, 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 oh man. Right. It was beautiful the way y'all put it together. Yes, like it Shami Quickly too. Quickly. Quickly. Yes. Quickly. Yes. Not yeah. even Quickly. in 24 hours. Not nope. even in 24 hours. Yeah. Praise y'all. All right. Last comment. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, Jamila says, these brothers have sold their soul Indeed. for trickery. For trickery. Once they have nothing else to give, they come after new souls to sacrifice. Yes. Thank you, Brother Jediah, mm. for coming through to save Yah's children. Yahoshua is our savior, Yahushua. and I just thank him. We could be used, however. Praise be the name of Yahoshua. Toda. Hallelujah. Um, St. Luke 16 and 10. The book of St. Luke, chapter 16, verse 10. Read, go ahead. He that is faithful in that which is least. If you use faithful in something small. Is faithful also in much. Then Yah knows he can trust you in something major and something big. Go ahead. And he that is unjust. If you unjust in handling the scriptures in a small thing. In the least. Just like saying Jeremiah 8 is talking about the word, the scribes change the book. So then now you're going to start erasing whole sections of scripture and that's mm -hmm. what you did mm -hmm. it starts from this one thing you want to promote this hindu doctrine of vegetarianism you want to promote that so you're unfaithful in that small thing now look how great is turned into a great sin and abomination mm -hmm. go ahead and he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much mm -hmm. if therefore ye have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon. If you're not faithful in things pertaining to mammon and, 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 and making money or earning a living, if you're unfaithful in doing on handling the father's business. Who will commit to your trust the true riches? That's why you could never do anything like restore the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You've been unfaithful. I mean, when we tried to restore the scriptures and we said, hey, the KJV is the best English translation, but... It needs to be restored. Mm -hmm. You were against it. You were unfaithful. Mm -hmm. So now you're trying to look for deeper scriptures and extra books and all that. You're not faithful in it because you never repented. Not that you couldn't have been, but you never repented of the evil you did and the false accusations you made. So that demon just grew in you. Mm -hmm. And it's had about six years or six, seven years to grow since then. So now it's gotten a, a tremendous stronghold over you, Malachi and Yaki. Y'all had an opportunity to repent over that situation. I didn't say nothing. The Most High broke apart your radio station and all that, and y'all, you know, humiliated y'all. I understand. Did I boast? Did we get on there and say we told you so? No. Nope. Did we get on there? Family, look, did we go out there when that radio station fell apart and all that stuff happened? Did we go out there and did we start boasting and did we say we told you so? Did we do any of that? No. Nope. We kept quiet. We didn't do none of that. So now you've had all of this time to repent. So now years, you know, these demons in you have just grown over the years. So that's why you can't be chosen or used in a way that you should be able to. You have knowledge, but now the wisdom and an understanding is turned upside down. Mm -hmm. The knowledge you have, you should have acquired a certain amount of understanding and wisdom to be used as a scribe at this point. You sh should be, and you're not. And this is why. Because... Uh, People who have uh, the ability to, to, to read scripture and teach from scripture and so forth, after you've been in faithful in, in the word for years and years and years, Yah will start to pour additional gifts into you and it'll start to bear fruit. And that's what we're hoping everybody here on the broadcast that you will be able to learn the language. You know, Yah willing, we're going to put forth things that's going to help the people. Like we said, we're working diligently on these things. And when we do, we're praying Yah will pour his Ruach upon you to be able to do these things. Where you will be able to discern in the, in the language. You'll be able to understand. You'll be able to grow. 
and you can commune more and more on a higher level with the Messiah for yourself. And you won't have to go through others so much because you'll have it in you to be able to read and discern these things. Mm -hmm. And then we grow as a nation. Hallelujah. We grow as a people. Hallelujah. We all come up as a nation. So it was never about us trying to do this self, this to exalt ourselves or mm -hmm. anything like this, you know. Um, so we just think, yeah. But like we said, we never boasted or bragged when you're when you got cast out and your radio station fell apart. We never boasted about that. We never even said nothing about it. And we and we could have technically, we could have said we told you so, and we could have said this is Yah's righteous judgment coming back on you we could have said you now reap what you have sown mm -hmm. we didn't do we didn't say nothing go ahead verse 12 and if ye have not been faithful in that which is another man ain't been found faithful in what belong to someone else like the word who shall give you that which is your own you can't be trusted to now restore the words of yah he could have allowed you to been able to do that you haven't been faithful in the herbs, so now Yah's not going to bless you in proper understanding of the herbs. Now Satan is going to inspire you about the herbs. And now he's going to rise up other people in your stead now from amongst the people who will have the proper godly knowledge of how to use the herbs. This is how it goes. Go ahead. Verse 13. No servant can serve two masters. Again. No servant can serve two masters. Peace to the gods and the earth. Go ahead, read. For either he no, will... No, from the top. Oh, no servant can serve two masters. Peace to the gods and the earth. No servant can serve two Love, masters. Love, life, peace. No servant can serve two Reiki masters. Reikiism. No servant can serve Gospel two of Nazarene. Masters. No servant can serve two mm -hmm. masters. Mm. For either he will hate the one... And you start hating the, the word of Yah. Y'all couldn't, couldn't have said that. that. He couldn't have said that. Mm -hmm. And then you said, we didn't even play those parts. You said the diet that Yah gave in Leviticus 11 was a BS diet. And he said the whole profane word. Mm -hmm. He said that the word of Yah was BS. He said that, Yah. He said that from his own mouth. Mm -hmm. That the word of Yah is a BS diet. And he can't teach that no more. Mm. If that ain't blasphemy, I don't know what is, family. We didn't even get that far in his video playing that because we had went on for about four hours. Mm -hmm. But he said Leviticus 11 diet is a BS diet. Mm. Go ahead. Verse 13. No servant can serve two masters. Mm -hmm. For either he will hate you the hate one. You hate the one. You hate Yehoshua. You hate his sacrifice. You hate his flesh. Again, we pointed out that flesh means gospel in Hebrew. Yeah, so by I you saw, denying the flesh... The word is basar. Mm -hmm. By you denying the flesh, you're denying Yehoshua's gospel. Mm -hmm. You're serving another Elohim. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. For either he will hate the one mm -hmm. and love the other, mm -hmm. or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve Elohim and mammon. You can't serve Elohim and mammon. And clearly everyone knows and can see that you've chosen mammon. Let's close out. Let's go to Revelation 22. This is the reason why Hebrew is so important. Mm -hmm. So, so, so important. Let's do, um, let's do, uh, let's do actually, let's do Revelations 21 and then we're going to go to 22. Revelations 21, let's start at verse 5. The book of Revelations chapter this 21. This is really significant, really important. Beginning at verse 5. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Amen. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true They're and what? faithful. His words are what? True and faithful. The word of Yah is what? True, true and, and faithful. It's true and faithful, but you say you don't believe. Mm -hmm. Yah couldn't have said this. But we just read where his words are true, true. And, and faithful. faithful. True and faithful. Go ahead. And he said unto me, it is done. I am Aleph mm -hmm. and Tau, the beginning and the end. 
I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. We got to overcome to inherit all good things. Go ahead. And I will be his Elohim and he shall be my son. But. But the fearful. And. Unbelieving. The unbelieving. Y'all don't believe anymore. You don't believe in the word of Yah. You don't believe. You said you can't believe that Yah would write that we have the right to eat flesh. You don't believe the writings of Paul. You don't believe the writings of Moses. You don't believe Aharon, Aaron, the high priest. You don't even believe the Melchizedek priesthood. We pointed that out. You claim you're the Melchizedek order of Melchizedek and you don't believe that. Because you have to endure suffering of the flesh and eating of the flesh to be part of that. You don't believe. Go ahead. The unbelieving. Oh, sorry. And the, the abominable. abominable. And makes you abominable. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And murderers. Mm -hmm. And whoremongers. Right. And sorcerers. Mm. Sorcerers. And idolaters. Sorcerers. Yaki the soothsayer, Yaki the, the sorcerer, mm. now Malachi the sorcerer too. We can say that now. Malachi the sorcerer. Mm -mm. See how it all goes together? And idolaters. And idolaters. Y'all are idolaters. Doing um, Hindi, Reiki, meditations, mm -hmm. worshiping Baal. You're an idolater now. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. This is why you don't believe. And when you don't believe, you become an idolater and a sorcerer. Mm -hmm. So you don't believe in the word. This is it. just following natural order. Go ahead. And, and all lies. And then you lie. Mm -hmm. You lie. You're lying now live on YouTube. Lying. Go ahead. Shall have their part in Where? the lake, in the lake which burneth with mm -hmm. fire mm -hmm. and brimstone, mm -hmm. which, which is, is the, the second, second death. death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Revelations 22 and 12. The book of Revelations chapter 22 and 12. And behold, I actually, come. Actually, let's do Revelation 22 and 10. All right, the book of Revelation, chapter 22, beginning at verse 10. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. The time is right now, y'all. Go ahead. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. That's why we said, man, you take them tears with you, brother. Go ahead, take them goats. You ain't even a brother no more. My brother. My father, mother, and brothers, the ones who, my mother, brother, and sister are those who do, do the, the will, will of my, my father, father in heaven. heaven. So I don't even know if we can just be saying brother so loosely anymore. You know? Mm -hmm. He who is unjust. Let, let him, him be unjust, unjust still. Continue in your wickedness. Ain't nobody, you know, go ahead, do you. And, and he, he which is filthy, let, let him, him be filthy, filthy still. still. Go ahead. And he that is righteous, let, let him, him be righteous Hallelujah. Still. We're seeking to be righteous. It'll be y'all's will. Hallelujah. And he that is holy, let him be holy we're, still. We're setting ourselves apart from you. We want to be holy. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Mm. I am Olive and Tau, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life. So you have right to the tree of knowledge of good and evil through this Shiva, the destroyer, you worshiping a Hindu God, you're worshiping, taking you back to the herbs, is leading you back to the tree of knowledge of good and evil. We're trying to get to the tree of, of, life. of, life, of life, the tree of life. And to get to the tree of life, Yehoshua was crucified on the tree. He was suffering on that tree, mm -hmm. which was the cross. So that's why we're partaking of what Yah told us and commanded us to take, which is his suffering of the lamb, to take the flesh at the appropriate time. That's what we're going to do and continue to do. Hallelujah. So we can get to that tree of life. You keep the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Yeah. Hmm. Verse 14, blessed are they that do his commandments. And you're not doing his commandments. You're saying his commandments are null and void. Someone else wrote the commandments. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. That they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Mm -hmm. For without are dogs mm -hmm. and sorcerers mm -hmm. and whoremongers mm -hmm. and murderers. Sorcerers, whoremongers. So that's just a matter of time if y'all not involved in that already. Eventually, if y'all continue down this path, it's going to happen. Fornication is going to overtake that congregation if it's not already. 
-hmm. It may already be just under the covers now, but uh, it will come out. Mm -hmm. And whoremongers and murderers mm -hmm. and idolaters and whosoever mm -hmm. loveth and maketh a lie. <laughs> I, Yehoshua, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the assemblies. I am the root and the offspring of Dawid and the bright and morning star. Go ahead. And the Ruach and the bride say, come, and let him that heareth say, come, and let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Amen. For I testify unto every man. I that testify unto some men. Unto every man. Every man. So listen up. Every man and every woman. Listen. That heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. Mm -hmm. If any man shall add unto these if things. If anyone shall add to these things. You're adding a, a vegan doctrine to deny the flesh of Yehoshua. You're adding to the word. And you're saying if you eat flesh, you're in sin. You're adding to the word. Let's say it again. If you say that eating flesh is a sin and is against the commandments of Yah, you are adding to the word, whether you're a scribe or not. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. If any man shall add unto these things, Elohim shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Mm -hmm. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book You've of the You've taken away the, the, the words of Moses. You've taken away the words of Paul. You've taken away the words of the priests and the offerings and Yehoshua himself feeding the multitudes with fish and him eating the, the lamb and him being the flesh. You're taking him out of the book. What happens to them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Elohim shall take away his part out of the tree of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. You're playing with your own soul, but you're playing with the <coughs> souls of many others. But that's why I says murderers, because you're playing with people's souls and you're going to send them to hell if they're deceived by you. He which testifieth these things saith, surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Adonai Yehoshua. The grace of our Adonai, Yehoshua HaMashiach, be with you. Amen. May the grace of our Adonai, Yehoshua HaMashiach, be with you all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's read a few comments and then close out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. All right. Um, we don't have a lot. Okay. Well, we thank y'all for joining us. He who was... Filthy, let him be filthy. He who was unjust, let him be unjust. But he who is uh, just, what does it say? He who is righteous, he who is righteous, let him be righteous. Let him be righteous. He who is holy, holy, let him be and holy. And he who is holy, let him be holy. So that's what it is, family. Don't be deceived by anything else. All the ad hominem stuff is irrelevant. All the name calling and all that stuff, the, all of that's important. What at the end of the day is what the word of Yah says and what we do. So let them talk, but we've already proven and they, they, they couldn't address any of it. And that's why they're doing the ad hominem. He did a video on somebody else's platform and refused to even acknowledge the video that everyone was talking about. The reason why the brother had him on the platform to begin with is because everyone's seen that video. And it was their own words and they were, you know, they were embarrassed by their own words. Let's just say it that way. By the power of... Yehoah and his son, Yehoshua HaMashiach. Yeah, yeah. Father, Yah, we give you all the praise, all the honor and the glory in Yehoshua's name. We pray, Father, over all this body of Kai Yeshua, over all, all this body of Yisrael, the body of Yehoshua HaMashiach. We repent, forgive, and pardon the sins and the iniquities, Father, of the elders, of the people, of the sheep, of the parents, of the children, of the brothers, of the sisters, of the husbands, of the wives of the fathers and mothers. Father, forgive us. Forgive our ancestors. Forgive our people, Most High. Forgive the youth. Forgive us. Break off the strongholds of deceit. Break off the strongholds of, of lies and manipulation. Break off the strongholds of soothsaying. Break off the strongholds of Hinduism, Reikiism, um, 
break off the strongholds of, 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 of Islam, nation of Islam, Allah worship, self-worship. We rebuke them in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We rebuke it. Put a fiery hedge of protection around us and around all the saints who stand for your name. Let none of us be put to shame, Most High, but give us authority, O mighty Yah of Yisrael, to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the adversary and let nothing by any means harm us. Keep the whole arm of Yehovah upon this whole body, O Most High Yah. The helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, gird our loins with truth, shod our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, give us the shield of faith, whereby we may quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yah. Praying with all prayer, supplication, and the, the spirit for all saints. Having done all to stand in this evil day, help us stand, that we may open our mouths boldly as we ought to speak. Give us the victory, Most High, through your blood, through your word, through your name, through your power. Through your might, there is no Elohim beside you. And thank you for writing the word in our heart that we could contend against these wicked doers and the devil within the Most High. And prevail, O Heavenly Father, that the hearts and the minds of these saints here are not deceived, O Most High Yah. Separate the sheep from the goat, separate the wheat from the tears, and count us worthy of your kingdom, worthy of the Lamb's Book of Life, worthy of the Tree of Life, that we might inherit eternal life and abide with you forever in your name. Hallelujah. Name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So family, it's been a blessing. We're, we're really mm -hmm. grateful to be here with you. We pray that y'all blesses you in this new week to come. We're going to be producing y'all willing even more content now. We understand the need for it. Um, and like I said, we're going to be uh, uh, re releasing um, um, some more information, y'all willing, um, in the next few days about uh, making herbs available for the whole body. Hallelujah. 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 Herbs that sanctified by the Most High. Herbs that are holy and set apart. Hallelujah. 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 May Yah bless you. May Yah keep you. May Yah restore you and grant you His shalom. Shalom. Till next time. Shalom. Shalom.